All right, everybody, I just got out to the farm and we are about to start night two of grape harvest. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. It is actually sounding like we might end up doing three nights. We were originally just thinking we were gonna do two, but we did 14 loads last night. And after counting the rows that we harvested, I estimated that we maybe did a third of the, the farm, a third. So we're gonna do another 14 loads tonight and we'll see where we get. And then tomorrow night, we might do some more loads. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the rows where the vines have already been harvested because I've got a little bit of time before we start going. Got all our trucks lined up. I might as well, after we do this, I'll start putting the potassium back out which I did show in the first video. We just got these little jugs of potassium and I put them with every, um, every load. And basically what it is, is it keeps the grapes from turning brown while they're getting trucked. So I'll have to put all those out, but let's go look at the vineyard first. So what they do is every row they finish, they put this white ribbon. So it's really obvious to see which rows they've finished. And here we go. So it looks a little bit beat up. Actually, this row doesn't look that bad, but there are areas where you'll see like this, where like all the, a lot of the leaves have gotten knocked off. So they look a little beat up, but honestly, I have been told by so many people, like my trunks look so good for only being two years old. I mean, this is, this is pretty thick. And you can see there's a little bit of beat up, but I mean, this is just a little bit of outside bark. There is nothing, there is no bad damage from, from getting shook. So here are the rachises, which I talk about a little bit in my Presley Vineyards field trip. Um, when they hand pick, they cut this whole thing off and all the grapes come with it. But in the machine harvester, a lot of times the grapes just get shook right off and they get left behind which is great because it's less work for the press to get that stuff out. So right now my loads are looking great. The crop is looking great. I'm so happy with it. My mentor is happy with how it's looking. Gallo is happy with how it's looking. So we're on the right track and I am getting on the harvester tonight, okay? I am not gonna miss my chance of getting on that harvester. All right, we got the two grape harvesters all cleaned up and ready to go for night two. Hopefully everything will work smoothly tonight. Try to get a little bit closer up on these guys.
one of the questions I got was, do any grapes get left behind? Yes, grapes definitely get left behind, but not much. The areas I've seen the most grapes left behind is where the arms haven't been fully trained yet. Like this one, but actually doesn't look like many got left behind here. They did see, so I mean, this is pretty good. Earlier, I saw sections where some of the grapes got left behind, but the arms weren't trained yet, which I have a very little section where the arms aren't fully trained. And honestly, they're probably gonna get left behind. If there was a huge amount of grapes being left behind by the harvester, then we probably would have a hand crew come through and pick them. But um, honestly, the harvester is doing a fabulous job Things are looking amazing. It's going to get 99% of my grapes. I'm, I'm really, really happy with how things are looking. It just, it's so awesome to watch. It's like, uh, let's see what time is it? It is 2.30 right now. We have um, seven and a half loads done. Our goal tonight is 14. We are just about done with the North Field. So I think this is their last pass. The second harvester just moved down to the south field and I'm pretty sure this harvester after this line is gonna to move to the south field as well. So we're moving right along. Okay, it is 6.20 a.m. We just finished loading the 13th truck. So we have one more we have to load. Um, as far as being tired, today has been way worse than yesterday. I've had like a couple moments where I feel pretty awake and I'm good, but I've been pretty exhausted tonight. So I don't know if it's just catching up to me from last night. I'm sure that's what it is because I didn't sleep that much. So when I get home, I'm going to just try to sleep again and we're going to see what happens because we're going to be harvesting again tonight. Not as many loads. I don't think it'll be a full night, but we will be harvesting again. All right. We are about to start loading our last truck for the night, <laughs> even though it's almost 7 a.m. <sighs> Is he feeling this one? I think so. This is it, last gondola of the night, 14th truck. We're just topping off each one and then get a few hours of sleep and we'll come back tonight for the last couple loads. Okay, I just did a final little drive around around the vineyard. We have 30 rows left, so we're pretty close 
to being finished. I think tonight will go by pretty quickly, but we filled our loads for last night, got our 14 loads. I'm going to head home and try to get some sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you following along with my harvest journey. This is the end of day two, and I hope you guys will like, subscribe, and come back for day three.